slept much, but the uh, the six has definitely been has been good to me so far. It's been good, man. You're enjoying Canada? Yeah, I um I haven't tried poutine yet. That's still on the bucket list. I gotta try poutine. Man. Tim Hortons let me down a little bit, but apparently I didn't get the right <laughs> things. I got a sandwich <laughs> there, and apparently I was just bad bad etiquette. So I will check that stuff we're out. Not, we're not gonna get into later. that right now, man. All right, let's get into this first match of pools right now. Wave C, go to in. Oh, he's going, okay, he's going uh, Nest player. That's going to be an interesting matchup here. Yeah, that's Blue Man, right? Because Dark, Dark Aura, I saw his Greninja in team just today. He was actually pretty efficient. Like, and, Oh, there oh, you go, what? right Wait, off what? the bat. No, yep. no. And that's that's really strong for Greninja, just being able to have that tool for edge guarding and the fact that Ness's, you know, recovery is so exploitable. I mean, that's a quick zero to death when he got off stage. That is true, man. You know, and Greninja so well. I've seen uh, Dark Aura do so well against Ness players as well. He uses that up B so great. Right. And literally, I think I saw it one time, and it was on a great video, on a great replay as well, is that he will up B, uh, Ness is up B, and he'll send him flying backwards. Mm. So that's one of those styles thing I've seen him do once. Uh, but Dark Aura, pretty used to this matchup. In Montreal, we have quite a bit of Ness players, so. Yeah, I mean, it's clear that he knows what he's doing. I mean, he's working on a, a JV3 right here. If uh, my man Blue Man can't get anything started, this is pretty ridiculous. Come on, Blue Man. <laughs> yeah, I'm oh, rooting for a percent right now. Like, give I'm me like, one. Just just one. Just, just one, man. Oh, oh man. no. He's trying. Oh, no. Hey, look, look at the edge guard you were just talking about. That's, that's what I was talking it. about there. That's what I was talking about. He doesn't care. He's going to get that S-match. That's too. actually it. Like, is this, what, <laughs> is this what we do in Canada? That's is what this what we do in the six? We don't even let him get 6%? Is that how it goes? That's, that's how it is, man. You, know, you can't sleep on Canada, man. <laughs> you can't sleep on us. <laughs> I'll stop telling you right now. I feel, like, I feel like Blue Man was asleep during that match, man. <laughs> Let's get that replay? replay again. And as I was talking about before, uh, him punishing those upbeats with Ness, he's very familiar with this matchup and showing it right here. Oh, man. Taunting. <laughs> as the worst part about that is the tag says for Lindsay. I hope Lindsay ain't watching. Good <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's savage right there. Oh, that is. That sucks right there. Mm, what's he, what's he going to pick now? I or I, I think I think a character switch is almost guaranteed. Like, <laughs> I, I I don't I don't see any any way around that. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to to be negative towards his nest, but it just seems like Dark Aura knows that matchup uh, so well. It, it it looked hopeless. You know what I mean? It it did look pretty hopeless indeed. Um, you know, I realized that Blue Man just literally had no options. Uh, what to do? Whatever. Dark Aura was just one step ahead of him each time. And now he's gonna switch to Sheik, and I think it's gonna be a little bit easier for him now. All right. Well. Well, we'll see. Uh, we'll see. I don't know about now. Cause, you know, I'm a Dark Aura fan now. Yeah, cause, <laughs> I don't know. Because literally when you think about Montreal players, you know, you don't really have um, all these characters that you have the matchups with. You know, we're missing some characters uh, in Montreal. Like, there's no Zero Suit Samses. Okay. There's no Diddy Kongs. And, uh, you know, there's a few Sheiks as well. So sometimes you have a hard time with these matchups. You sure. go to these big nationals. You go to these big regionals. And you're like, oh, man, i got to fight this character now. And they're so experienced. So it's a little bit harder. Uh, but it's interesting to see these like characters, those odd characters coming out like Greninja, and uh, then the opposite happens, and then the Sheik player is like, oh, how do I fight this Greninja? So we're going we're gonna to see how this one goes. Yeah, I mean, matchup, you know, experience goes a long way. I mean, you couldn't have said it any better than, than you did right there, but we'll see. I mean, he's already off to a better start. I mean, we got damage on the board. I think, I think we can agree. <laughs> That's an accomplishment. That's yeah. an accomplishment the last time. That's an adaptation. No doubt. So we'll see. Let's see. Dark Aura, uh, it looks like he's in... Uh, control here looks like he's not you know another one he's not unfamiliar with I would say yeah I can see right now he's really uh, just using the spacing game and uh, he's playing a little bit on the aggressive side too he's not really playing defensive against the Sheik because uh, uh, what I like about Blue Man Sheik right now is that he's he's rolling at, at the right times as well and getting the bouncing fishers I agree Ooh, wow okay yeah this uh this switch looking very effective right here Actually in the lead right now. Maybe who knows? Maybe this was actually Blue Man's main, and then this is probably like a secondary you well, just trying out. You never know. Perhaps so. I mean, pools. You wanna you wanna do well in pools, man. You don't try out the secondaries in pools. You know, like you never, you never know. Some people have those, those different strategies. I don't know, man. Well, either way, uh, I'm liking what I'm seeing from the sheep right here. A lot of uh, you know evasion coming out from for the most part here. Just trying to play around uh, dark or not let him get any of combo started here, but. Get, get the good edge guarding opportunity. Oh, tried to go for the trunk back here. Oh, okay. Try to get a little tricky there. See the mix-ups. Really? This is a really defensive game uh, so far on the part of Blue Man especially. And I understand why, you know, especially given that first game. So he's definitely not trying to drop uh, a very slightly he's built here. But at the same time, you got to get in there. 
try to string together some good hits because that's that's one thing that Greninja Greninja's actually scary. Like down tilt up air sucks. It is scary, man. It's a really great confirm <laughs> too. And um, the one thing I see right now, like you were saying about the defensive game, is that Sheik is being very agile right now and shielding at the right moments uh, against that. And he's getting, he's using fair. He's opting up for those fairs, which is a very smart thing. Right. And the backer with Sheik, I find it's a really, still a really pretty good tool. Of course. Yeah. It's just not as, not as powerful as it used to be. Oh, okay. Goes for that up. Be not going to connect, but in a good position here, nonetheless. Yeah, Dark Aura is still holding it strong, man. All right, I'm sure Lindsay's proud right now. <laughs> Throw that out there, right? <laughs> for sure. <laughs> all right, okay, that, that's questionable. I don't know why Dark Aura really kind of just double jumped all the way at the top. I I'm sure he probably wanted to drop down and then save it, but never mind. He's reading that recovery right there. That, the up smash. that was an amazing up smash to, to counter the uh, the bouncing fish attempt right there. Really mm -hmm. smart play by Dark Aura. Really bold as well. Yeah, but it pays off. I think he, he, you know, he just knows his character so well. He knows how how wide the hitbox is with that L smash. Right. So, yeah. Oh, here comes Dark Aura. Strike some quick stylish here. stuff again. Man, th when this man goes in Dark Aura, it is scary. Yeah. Like he'll get follow up after follow up. That's the thing about like uh, you know how defensive that match started out. When somebody does get that first first stock, they can really just ride that momentum, and then you don't see them being as defensive. Like they'll put you. They'll put you under defense and then just keep attacking, attacking. Yeah. It's working out well for Dark Aura right now. Yeah, it's those mind games, man. Yep. Oh, here he comes. Oh, jeez. Nice. Double down air to back this, air. This is why we need more Greninja. Yeah, <laughs> man. Hey, my man not studying his dialogue, but, but, but don't forget about Dark Aura. Don't, don't forget about it, man. Don't sleep with my boy Dark Aura. Well done, well done. And that, you know, started out quite even, but once that first stock was going, <coughs> uh, as was my man Blue Man's uh, hope of winning. Yeah, man, with Dark well Aura. Look, look at this, man. It's all serious. All business. He looks like Salem right now when he was Apex. Just all serious. <laughs> just, just all business. He's just <laughs> I'm with it. He's just, yeah, it's all good. Great, great player. I'm not sure who's going to be next now. Uh, we'll get it for you.